168mm LSD unit into E21 LSD BMW. He's smiling. 1.45. And if he gonna get salary for this month or not. Both please. Point one. So we're gonna use two shims club graded to. Hi guys, many of you know us as the only company which produced a permanent solution for the free play inside the E46 M3 differential. And yes, that's who we are. And today we're happy to tell you that we have even better solution. Uh, this clutch pack, uh, newer clutch pack than before, uh, is uh, created to transform your uh, half visco and half clutch type LSD unit from E46 M3 to purely mechanical clutch type LSD unit. Uh, this is what you all guys desire and uh, with right because uh, that's much better solution. We already tested it, pass through test on the racetrack, on the street driving and everything else. So today we are making the final video uh, about uh, how to install it and which parts you get now from this, let's say, version 2 uh, clutch upgrade pack. Uh, I suppose you all seen already the first video about uh, complete rebuild of E46 M3 diff. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, then please check a suggested video tag up, uh, check for the video. This video will show you how to uh, change bearings how to change oil seals, clutch plates and to install free play shim uh, including the sandblasting and freshly painting the housing. Uh, this video today is strictly focused on this brand new clutch kit and we will today show only the installation process uh, regarding this uh, new uh, version of the clutch plate set. So uh, if you want to learn how to change bearings and how to change seals and uh, to take care of rusty old uh, housing, then again check the video in our list on our YouTube channel uh, and learn how to do that. And today we are showing you how to install this brand new clutch pack which will soon be available for purchase on our web shop. Uh, I call you to subscribe on our YouTube channel to stay in touch, uh, connect with us on social media and if you have any questions regarding uh, with that what's about to come please write us email we will respond as soon as possible and now let's get to work to get this video as short as possible we already removed uh, the crown gear bolts and now to uh, remove the crown gear Flip the unit and you have four small allen bolts right here, need to remove them so you can get internals free. And here's the cap. This is factory, factory clutch pack without any preload, as you know, as this differential is the combination uh, from a uh, combination of uh, clutch plate and visco design. This is visco coupler and it works in with a combination in uh, in combination with clutch clutch plates and now we're gonna remove those completely first one looks a bit stuck here it is uh, this one generally looks a bit burned, so this differential suffered really, 
really a good amount of heat but anyway uh, just uh, pay attention on some differentials uh, you have a thin like a leaf a thin shims right here usually three pieces when you're installing racing disc clutch pack remove those three pieces along with a factory clutch set otherwise you will have too much preload and you won't be able to drive your differential normally so remove those uh, thin shims from the top of the clutch stack to get all eternals out we have cross pins a lower spider gear and factory flat shim you already learned about the free play shim we won't be talking much about it at this video so this is it and now is the time the moment to unbox the new the new upgraded version to show you what you get inside if you come closer you can see all the parts on the first side it looks uh, the same as the old pack but with one significant difference and significant upgrade if you're familiar with old uh, ZF uh, mechanical clutch plate design which you could find in older BMWs like E36, E34, E30 and so on you will know uh, what this part is so you have clutch stack as before there is no change in this you have a preload shim uh, which will take care of uh, preload uh, sorry free play shim which will take care of of uh, any eventual pre, pre, uh, free play inside the, the differential this is also all part and what's new uh, the new is uh, this preload shim spring shim as someone calls bevel shim so on it goes on the top of the clutch stack creating additional preload inside the differential uh, so it can work more mechanically like old ZF clutch type limited slip diff how to mount it very simple first it goes a free play shim don't forget to lubricate all parts I, I repeat that in every single video but it is because it's so important so lubricate those parts we received we receive generally a lot of questions which differential oil we recommend uh, I will uh, I will use a chance to announce some of our next videos about testing oil oils for limited slip differentials. Uh, we are preparing for you guys a truly tremendous test about oil the uh, all differential oils that you can find on the market. We're going to test every single one of them and show you which one is the best. So don't forget to subscribe on our video to follow us for the further tests and continuing with assembly cross pins carefully in the ledge all the way down and upper spider gear and this is the part for the clutch plates and beginning with the clutch pack lubrication of all parts is important Order begins with outer plate, 
uh, and finishes with the outer plate which is important one by one And finishing the clutch stack with outer plate. As I already mentioned, this new set brings one innovation, and that's a uh, preload shim, large preload shim, spring plate, whatever goes on top of the stack like this. And that's it and uh, one piece of advice before you close the unit with the with the cap take one output flange and align the splines together so when you mount the dif uh, when you assemble differential in the housing you don't have problems with returning input flanges so this is a piece of advice which can be useful for the final assembly you can do it right now and now time to close the cap and everything as as it was align the bolt small bolt holes like this and you pretty much know the rest and now you saw all details regarding the installation of uh, the new upgraded, uh, let's say, uh, mechanical conversion for E46 M3. Uh, if you like what you saw, you have this available on our website. Uh, direct link for purchase is, is in the description below. And this can be mounted in an all V1 unit, uh, which could be found in E46 M3 models up to 2005 production year. If you have to, uh, for, from 2005 to 2006 and in IT2 M3, M5 E60, M6 and Z4M, uh, then you will need a V2 unit uh, clutch pack. Next video is about that. You can see the difference. This is the V2 unit from M5 or M6 or Z4M. Uh, if you, you have some of those, then I suggest you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Next video will be about that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any further questions, then please write email and connect with us in the social media to stay up to date. Thank you again for watching and goodbye.